And good morning, Destiny! Happy Sunday! Yan, imagine na kung gaano kabilis ang panahon. We are now on the last Sunday of June. And come to think of it, nangangalahati na tayo ng 2022. Ayan, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, good job at congratulations. You made it. Amen. So it's all by the grace of God. By the way, my name is Justine and I'm just here to give us some of our announcements and what to look forward to for the next coming days. Okay, so let's begin. Um, Abby, by the way, before that, can I just, uh, can we just acknowledge, acknowledge and welcome those who are joining us here for the very first time. Meron ba tayong first time guest? Yeah, can I see a wave of hand? Ayan, good morning and thank you for choosing to spend So your Sunday morning with us here. No, after the service, we would like to invite you to join us. So welcome center for some tokens and refreshments. Ayan. And by the way, we are also on Facebook. We are being live streams of Facebook and YouTube. So if you're just around the metro, join us here. We are streaming from Robinson's Gallery here in Ortigas. And if you are joining us online for the first time, just uh, comment on the on the box below, comment box below, F-I-R-S-T, so we can also welcome you, all right? Now, here are some of the announcements, so if you have your calendars, let's mark our events all together. First up is our prayer meeting, so we're having our prayer meetings every morning, that's 5 to 6 a.m. on our Facebook and YouTube. Please join us, and if you have prayer requests, you can send in your prayer concerns, and as a church, we will pray all together. That's our prayer meeting, and the second one, and our announcement, ayan, balik tang SOD Bible Study this coming Wednesday, so it's June 29 at 7, 7 p.m., ayan. Also, also for SOD, we will have nakiwi di ba batang bata. We will have our SOD Life Group Convergence this coming Saturday on July 2 at 3 p.m. sa Konsunji Room, bahay ng alumni. This is in UP Diliman, Quezon City. All right. And fourth here on the list is our Women's Fellowship. Kawai kawai naman yan, o mga kababaihan. Ayan, pag maganda, pag ingay. Monthly Women's Fellowship, also this coming Saturday. Please be posted by tuning into our Facebook page for further announcements, especially ang venue natin. All right. And last but not the least, and our announcement is the most awaited mid-year week of fire. It's going to be Destiny's uh, week-long prayer and fasting. So please join us. It will start on July 4 up to July 9. So, so July 4 to July 8, it's going to be um, online via Zoom. So please register. The registration link is now up on our page. So you can uh, invite your family, your friends, your LG mates. At invite mo rin, syempre, ang sarili mo, no? Kita-kita tayo. So it's going to be 7.30 p.m. And then the so last day, it's going to be on July 9. It's a Saturday. Meron tayong face-to-face -face gathering here in Metro Manila. Sa Cubao yan, sa Gateway. It's going to be 7 p.m. And for those who are only able to join online, don't worry. Ito naman ay hybrid, no? So when we say hybrid, it's going to be on-site and online. So yon. So please mark your calendar for this event on July 4 to 9. Amen. So that's all that I have for this morning for our announcement. And now I would like to invite everyone us all stand to our feet. Come on. And let's give Jesus our best praise this morning. Amen. Amen. Good day, Destiny. Before we continue, I just want to share a word to you. It's in Psalm 113 verses 1 to 3. It says here, Praise the Lord. Amen. So praise the Lord, you His servants. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Do we believe that? The name of the Lord is to be praised. And uh, the, the song that we are going to sing right now, is a bit, it's a bit of a new song. And um, it, the lyrics, it talks about 
the, some of the many names of our one true God. And we are going to declare it as we sing it. Okay, so the chorus goes like this. Sabay po tayo. I know you by a thousand names And you deserve every single one You've given me a million ways To be amazed in what you've done And I am lost in wonder At all you do I know you by a thousand names And I sing them back to you Gets po ba? So we're going to praise Jesus in this place You finish everything you start My soul was made To respond I know I know you by a thousand names And you deserve every single one You've given me a million ways To be amazed at what you've done And I am lost in
deserve every single one you've given me a million ways amen to be amazed in what you've done and i am lost in wonder at all you do i know you by a thousand names and i sing them back to you
faithfulness upon our lives. And we acknowledge, Lord God, that it is only through you and in you that we can finish this race that you have set before us, Panginoon. We acknowledge your work upon our lives. We love you, God. We worship you. Ikay walang katulad, ikay naging 
isa Ikaw lamang wala ng iba Sa iyo ang aming gawi Tingin ang aming tinig Isisigaw sa buong mundo Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just be continuously just uh, praising and worshiping God right now. Yes, Lord God, Lord. And I want everyone, each one of us, just to be raising our hands to God right now. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh God. Indeed, there is no one like you, our Lord. Our Lord Jesus, oh God, Lord. Oh, we praise your name, oh God. We we'll lift up your name, Panginoon, in our midst right now, Panginoon. We know, O oh God, you are here. You are here with us, O oh God, Lord. And you have heard our praises, O oh God, our worship to you, O oh God, Lord. That your name be lifted up. The name, the powerful name of our Lord Jesus, O oh God, Lord, be lifted up in a place in this, by our hearts, O oh God, Lord. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, Lord. Lord, O oh God, we commit to you, Panginoon, this day, O oh God, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit your powerful presence rest upon us all, O God. In the name of Jesus, O God, Lord. Open our minds, O God. Open our spiritual hearts to you, O God, Lord. Lord, have your way in us, Panginoon, O God, Lord. Lord, O God, remain, O God. Remain in us, Panginoon. We want to be in your presence, O God. Lord, we want to be refreshed by your presence, O God, this morning, O God, Lord. Thank you, God, Lord, for once again gathering us here, O God. In the name of Jesus, O God, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, O God, Lord, sa iyong kabutihan, O God. We thank you, God, Lord, for your faithfulness, O God, Lord. Once again, O God, Lord. Hallelujah, O God, Lord. We praise your name, O God, Lord. Wala kang katulad, Panginoon, O God, Lord. Sa iyo ang lahat ng papuri, Panginoon. All the praises, all the glory, O God, Lord. All the adoration, O God, Lord. All the love, O God, Lord. You deserve, O God, Lord. You deserve our worship. You deserve our praise, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, Panginoon. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, O God, Lord. Lord, salamat, Panginoon. We thank you, God, Lord. Even right now, Panginoon. Nagpapasalamat na kami, Panginoon, O God, Lord. For what you will be doing this morning, O God, Lord. Sa iyong pagpapakilala, Panginoon. As you, O God, Lord. Lord, patuloy kang kumilos sa aming mga buhay, sa aming mga puso, O God, Lord. Lord, we thank you, God, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for this time, O God, Lord. We thank you, God, Lord, for, O God, Lord, bringing us to this place, O God, Lord, together, O God, Lord, as a church, O God, Lord, united by your Spirit, O God, Lord. We thank you, God, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everyone say, Amen and Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Come on. Come on, Destiny. You can do better than that. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, you can now have... Ah, before you take your seat, uh, why don't you just greet the people around you with a wonderful morning, Sunday morning. Okay, you may take your seat. Yes, um, again, good morning to everyone. Welcome to our Sunday service. Uh, I am Pastor Naniel, and in behalf po ng ating senior pastors, Pastor Carlo Panlilio and Shaleen Panlilio, I'd like to welcome everyone to our 10 a.m. service, even to those who are watching right now sa Facebook and YouTube. Good morning. Thank you for uh, joining us this morning. And before we proceed, I'd just like to call on uh, the children. Yung mga anak po, mga kabataan, mga bata na nandito ngayon, kasama natin. We will first pray for them before they go, they proceed to the children's ministry. Alright.
Okay, let's all be extending our hands to these children. Lord, we thank you, God, Lord, for these children. Salamat, Panginoon, sa mga kabataan na to, Panginoon, God. We even thank, Lord, for their parents, God, Lord, who brought them, them here this morning. Sinabi mo nga po sa iyong salita, bring the children to me. Let the children come to me, O God, Lord. So this morning, Panginoon, I pray that you bless them, O God, Lord. Young as they are, O God, Lord, I pray, O God, Lord, that your presence, even right now, at their young age, Panginoon, they will come to know you, Panginoon. Maranasan kanila, O God, Lord, that they are, O God, Lord, sa time na they'll be spending with you in the children's ministry, I pray that they'll know that you are there with them, O God, Lord playing with them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, Lord. Again, O oh God, Lord, we, we praise your name, we bless your name, O oh God, Lord, your presence be truly, O oh God, Lord, with these children in the children's ministry, O oh God. Even, O oh God, Lord, the mga kuya nila at ate who are guiding them, Panginoon, yet your presence be with them, O oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen and Amen. Okay, sige, kids, tuloy na tayo sa children's ministry. Okay, so once again, good morning to everyone. Okay, so uh, do you have any first timers in the house? Anyone joining us for the very, very first time this morning? All right, we have one there. Yes, come on, Destiny. Kanya lang bakay niyo bigay na palakpak. Anyone else? Okay, so thank you, brother, for joining us this morning. So maybe you're wondering why we call our church Destiny. Well, first of all, we believe in the verse uh, Jeremiah 29:11. Ito siguro this is the life verse of this church, Destiny Church. It says here, "For I know the plans I have for you," declares the Lord, "plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future." Yes, it says that God has a plan. Okay, every one of us, our life on this earth is not by accident. Hindi lang basta pinanganak sa mundong ito. God has a specific plan, a specific purpose for all of us. And I believe it is not by accident that you are here, brother. Okay? God has taken you to this place so that today, this very day, through God's message, we'll get to know about Jesus, our Lord. Kanina, earlier this morning, as we were just praising God, He has a thousand names. Oh, but then again, that name again still pointing to the powerful and wonderful name of our Lord Jesus. So this morning we'll get to know more about who Jesus is, what He has done for all of us. Okay? Yes, for the past that's why for the past few weeks or so we have been to- talking about sola script, the sola scriptura. Okay, so scriptures alone. Okay, which is one of the five solas. So that's where we're taking off to this morning about those five solas, okay? And again, there are five. Una, una, as we have been uh, preaching the past few weeks, the sola scriptura or scripture alone, okay? Solus Christus, which is Christ alone. We'll be talking about this as we start out with our mini series. So we have a general series about the five solas and today we'll be we have just finished with a mini our mini series on sola scriptura. Man this morning we'll be starting with solus solus Christus. Okay? Another is sola fide, which is faith alone, sola gratia or grace alone and soli deo gloria, which is to God, only to God, only God receives all the glory. So as I mentioned, today we'll be talking about and starting on Solus Christus. Okay? Let's be, before we uh, proceed on, I'd like every one of us to be praying again. Oh Lord, oh God. Oh Father, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord God. We are here, oh God, this morning and I pray, oh Lord God, that your Holy Spirit, your Holy Presence, oh Lord God, will rest upon us all, O God. Wherever we are, to everyone who is here right now in this physical service, and everyone, O God, Lord, watching us online, in Facebook and YouTube, Panginoon, I pray, O God, Lord, that your presence will be upon each one of us, O God. Let your Holy Spirit move in us, Panginoon, to open our minds, O God. More so to open our hearts, O God, Lord, to your word, O God, Lord. 
a word of God, Lord, that will be just transforming us, oh God, changing, oh God, Lord, the way we think, the way we, oh God, Lord, the way we know about you, our Lord Jesus, oh God, Lord. This morning, I pray, oh God, Lord, that there will be a desire, oh God, Lord, a desire, Panginoon, oh God, Lord, to get to know more about you, Panginoon, oh God, Lord. That's why it's called, oh God, Lord, Jesus, oh God, Lord, Christ alone, oh God, Lord. That we come to know about that, oh God, Lord, in a powerful way, oh God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord. I pray that truly, oh God, Lord, we will be refreshed, oh God, Lord, by your word today. And we will have come to, a, oh God, Lord, a better realization, oh God, Lord, of who you are, who, who Jesus is in our personal lives, in our ministries, in our families, oh God, Lord. Everything about us, oh God, Lord, because it's all about you, oh God. We thank you, God, Lord. We commit to you the rest of this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Palakpakan natin muli ang ating Panginoon. Alright. Okay, so again, as we have been talking about, uh, particularly also with the Sola Scriptura, it's, it's, all these Solas, okay, all began with the Reformation movement, okay, the Protestant Reformation. And come to think of it, why did this actually start? What, what, uh, what came to the mind of Martin Luther, who really started this Protestant revolution, uh, Reformation? Actually, there were people, even before him, who started you know, small reformations, but it was actually in the time of Martin Luther that everything just you know, started. There was this big movement, okay? And again, the reformation was mainly just, it's all about Jesus, okay? The reformation was about the, the death of Jesus Christ on the cross as our only source of forgiveness, a source of life, and source of salvation. Same with that, uh, that may be again, salvation. Yeah, that's the main thing that we'll be talking about, what Jesus again, why it's called Christ alone. So Martin Luther said, the cross alone is our theology. Now what is theology? It is the study on the nature of God. So the cross alone. And another way to say this is solus Christus or Christ alone. And you cannot be just talking about Jesus without the cross, right? So it's a combination of the cross and Jesus, Jesus on the cross. That's why it's all about Christ alone. And again, it's about our salvation. That's why for this morning, I've entitled this preaching as Solus Christus, Christ alone saves. Repeat that with me. Christ alone saves. Parang inaantok ah. Come on people, give life to that. Christ alone saves. Yes. Okay, so again, that word saved, to be saved, our salvation through Jesus Christ alone. Say with that me, with that, uh, that with me, alone. Okay, alone, wala nang iba. It is the heart, it is the center of the reformation. Ito po yung pinakabuhay, pinakapuso of all this uh, reformation, yung pagbabago na sinimulan ni Mar na gustong mangyari ni Martin Luther. Okay? All the practices, the teachings, okay, na, na gustong mabago ni Luther and other reformers. Or ano nga eh, nakita nila yung mga present practices and teachings during that time through the, the first, ano, the establishment of the first churches, okay, of the Christian religion. Okay, there, there arose practices and teachings through time. And um, Luther and other reformers wanted this to be changed because it was problematic. Anong problema? They got Jesus wrong. You know, through the teachings, through, through time, sa pagda, paglipas ng panahon, yung church, the early Christian church, slowly, nagdidi, ganun, nag, kung pa sabi natin, nagdideteriorate. Naiiba yung mga katuruan, naiiba yung mga practice. Okay? They either added or took away from the work of Jesus. Okay? May tinanggal, at meron pa nga pinalitan with works. Okay? Anong works yon? Human works. Kung ba sinasabi, Jesus, you're not enough. What you have done on the cross is not enough. It's not sufficient. Okay? Kulang. Kaya ngayon, particularly with the way the hierarchy in the early Christian church, we have the Pope 
And it was the Pope who was all powerful that time. Okay, siya yung pumalit kay Peter. Actually, he represented Peter. Okay, with the passing of Peter, wala na si Peter. So, he was personified in the Pope. That's why the Pope had so much power. Everything that he wanted to, to be done, it was done. Kuminsan, it's according to how he thought about how Christianity should be done. Okay, the practices. So people were told that they had to do something in addition to what Jesus had done for them. Whether it was an outward action, lalong lalo na indulgences. Okay, that's why, you know, you sinasabi mo, you're saying now, if you're paying, okay, for your salvation, okay, that means the work of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross is not enough. I have to pay for my salvation. That is what this indulgence is all about. Even the fasting during that time, it was for that so that they'll be saved. Hindi yung about being uh, in the presence of God. That's why we fast. We get rid. We, uh, we get rid for a while of our of the physical wants of our bodies, our physical needs. Okay, and we step into the spiritual realm. That's why we fast. We fast. We fast and pray, di ba? Pero yun nga, nangyayari noon, it was a part of the ano eh, uh, parang penitence. Okay? Parusa, dahil nagkasala ka, you have to do this. Diba? If you still remember, pray the Hail Mary a hundred times. Pray the Our Father uh, 20 times. Okay? Ganun eh. It is by work. Galangan mong gawin to. Okay? Another thing, during that time, meron pa silang yung sinasabing pilgrimage. If you go to Beth to Jerusalem, then you will be saved. During that time, there was this uh, crusades. If you join the crusades to fight, to fight, huh? then you will be saved. There is salvation in there. Kaya marami doon, mga, they, they, they thought, particularly the men, okay, they thought they, were, they had this sinful life. And the only way they can be saved is by fighting in the crusades, joining the crusades. So it was basically through work. Okay? Okay, so people were told, you know, sinabihan sila. They were given instructions that the works of Jesus were not enough. Not enough. Wow. That's a big problem. Requiring them, requiring all people during that time, during, okay, all the mga mananampalatay, all the Christians at that time, that they, that they needed something else added to what Jesus has already done on the cross. As Stephen Wallum has said, Christ alone or solus Christus is not a slogan. It is the center of the solas. Sabihin nyo, center. Okay, center. Itong pinakapuso, itong pinakabuhay. Why we have the solas. Okay. The words spoken by God. The faith given by God. The grace extended by God. And the glory possessed and promised by God cannot make sense apart from the Son of God who became a man for our salvation. Basically, it says, yung uh, solus Christus, it's, it's at the very center of, of these solas. Okay? Siya yung pinakasentro eh. That's why it's yung faith, it's faith in Jesus, the grace extended by God coming from Jesus. Okay? The glory possessed by God coming from Jesus glorifying our God. So, yun eh, lahat, lahat, it's centered on solus Christus, Jesus alone, Christ alone. Okay? So, if you be, if going back to sola scriptura, if you, if you know your Bible, it's from beginning to end, it talks about Jesus, about the Savior, about the Messiah. Okay? Nung pumasok ang kasalanan, when sin entered okay, into our lives, right there and then, Jesus as well, became the solution. Okay? There were prophecies about Jesus from the Old Testament. In Genesis, okay, kung babasahin natin to, Christ, sinabi doon, Christ will crush the head of Satan. Okay? Talagang talagang dudurugin niya ang ulo ni Satan. And let's read from Genesis 3 verse 15 in the Amplified Version. It says here, And I will put enmity or open hostility Paglalaban, pag, uh, you know, digmaan. Enmity between you. This talks about, this is God speaking to the devil. 
between you and the woman. The woman representing mankind. Okay? Ito yung sinabi ni ano eh, nung when man committed sin. Di ba? If you'll, if you'll recall. Eve ate of the fruit, okay, from the tree in the center of the garden. And God came there and said, woman, who made you eat that fruit? Okay, Eve, right there, said, it was because, I mean, it was, he, Jesus, uh, God was speaking to, to Adam, okay? And Adam said, it was the woman, okay, who enticed me to eat of the fruit. And then Eve said, yes, Lord God, but it was the snake or the serpent who enticed me to eat of the fruit. And then the devil right there, he cannot point to anybody else, but says, yes, it's me. Okay, that's how arrogant the serpent is. Just, just, what, just my wild imagination. So God said, I will put enmity, open hostility between you and the woman and between your seed, okay, the seed of the devil, his offsprings, and her seed. Okay, if you read the Bible, that seed is in capital S. That means it's the Messiah, the Savior, Jesus himself. He shall fatally bruise your head. You know, he'll be crushing the head of the serpent of Satan. And you shall only bruise his heel. You know, sabi dito ni God, ikaw, Satan, you'll just bruise his heel. Kumbaga, mabubugbog mo lang yung kanyang sakong. Okay, so this verse points to the promise of the birth of Jesus. Right there. Naandun na God. The plan of God for our salvation through Jesus. The birth of Jesus. Okay, representing our redemption, our victory over Satan. What is ano, Satan? Siya kanya nagsimula yung sin. Okay, and what is, anong kabayaran sa kasalanan? Death. Mamatay tayo, not just our physical bodies, hindi lang ating katawang lupa, but also our spirit, suffering in hell, not being in the presence of our God. Okay, ano pa ang mas, ano, ano pa ang mas kahindik-hindik doon, di ba? Yung, that your that your our spirits will be you know, tormented forever yun eh. pero nga eh, it is through Jesus that we are redeemed wow praise God for that that we have victory over okay over sin okay over Satan the woman's offspring is Jesus you know eh, it was talking about Jesus being born by a virgin okay he is literally nga eh, the offspring of a woman our God taking the form of man in Isaiah 7.14. Sinabi doon, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Okay? And all of this, okay, this, this Genesis and even this verse in Isaiah, it was fulfilled in the New Testament in Matthew 1.23. Sabi doon ni John, Look! The virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And in Galatians 4, chapter 4, verse 4, But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of the woman, under the law. You know, under the fullness of time, the perfect time, na dumating ang Messiah, our Savior, has finally come. Okay? Na-fulfill. Yung sinasabi doon in the Old Testament. You know, words, prophecies about the coming of a Messiah, our Savior, who will eventually uh, set us free from sin. Wow! Kaya ka nandito, kapatid. That's why you're here. You're free from sin. And I pray na talagang nangyayari yan sa buhay natin. Okay? Na alam na natin ngayon, black and white, what sin is and what uh, and what is good so that we can really turn away from sin. Okay? That was fulfilled. Yeah. Jesus is the perfect representative of man. Okay? Jesus represents us. You. Me. Jesus represents us. The devil's offspring, yung mga lahi niya, ay mga kasama na ron, yung evil man. Okay? Mga masasamang nila lang. And demonic forces who, okay, like that serpent, lay in wait for the Savior and struck at him. 
Yung talaga, they had this plan, this scheming plan that they will strike, that they will, you know, defeat Jesus. Okay? Kaya yun eh. Alam nga kala nila, their plan na Jesus will be condemned to the cross, to the cross, to be crucified. Akala nila, they triumphed. But no! Di ba alam natin? The cross and Jesus, it is our salvation. Praise God for that. Okay, the serpent strike did not mean the end of Jesus. Alam naman natin yon. Okay, Jesus rose the third day. There, Jesus rose the third day, breaking the power of death and winning the ultimate victory. Praise God for that. Power over death. Diba? Ang kabayaran ng kasalanan. The wages of sin is death. And Jesus showed that He had overcome death. And that is what we are expecting as well. That we can overcome the death of our physical bodies, but our spirits will be passing on. Being with our Lord, being with Jesus, being with our God, Father, in heaven. Okay, wow. Isipin nyo na lang yun. Wow, praise God. Salamat, Panginoon. Okay, with the cross. Okay, on that cross, on the cross, Jesus crushed. Okay, dinurog niya yung ulo ni Satanas. Defeating him forever. Talo na. The Satan has been defeated, including his minions. Talo na silang lahat. They are all defeated. So sin should have no more control over our lives. Okay, sin and everything that goes with it, yung worries mo, okay, yung pag, ano mo, sa sarili mo, pride and all that. Maybe pasulpot-sulpot, but we know that we can overcome those trials sa ating mga buhay. Amen? Okay. So in Genesis 3.15, the crushing of the serpent's head is a picture of the triumph and victory of Jesus over sin and Satan. And it was done right there on the cross. Palakpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. Yes, praise God for that. In John 12, 31, sa Passion Translation, from this moment on, wow, from this moment on, everything in this world is about to change. Hallelujah. For the ruler of this dark world will be overthrown. You know, that time, the perfect time, okay, the fullness of time, this moment, even at this moment, okay, and I pray, okay, that victory of Jesus on the cross is changing each one of us. Patuloy tayong binabago, amen? Okay? Patuloy tayong binabago. That's why it says here, the world is about to change. It is actually changing because of what Jesus had done 2,000 years ago. Okay, Satan has already been defeated. He has been overthrown. His rule of this world has ended. Okay, his rule has ended. Come to think of that. You are always victorious, mga kapatid. There is always victory in whatever you're going through, not just sin, but everything that we are going through. Okay, sinabi nga sa salita ni Lord, in this world, there will be trouble. Yes, but take heart. Laksan mo yung kaloban. I have overcome this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, so the striking of the Messiah seal, yung sakong ng ating Panginoon, is a picture of the wounding. Okay, wounding. Pag, yung pagkapako niya, yung paghagupit sa kanya. Okay, yung nabugbog yung kanyang katawan. Okay, and his death on the cross. Satan only bruised Jesus heel. Okay nga, parang nalamog, nabugbog ang katawan ng ating Panginoon. But it all ends there. Because Jesus showed victory over Satan, over sin, by crushing. Yun nga eh, dinurog. You crush, di ba? Yung gano eh, dinurog mo, tinapakan, ulo. Di ba? Dinurog, pinisa, kung ano nga talaga, pinisa mo talaga eh. Uh, just imagine, labas ang utak kasi yun, basag ang bungo. Talagang patay. But Jesus showed victory over Satan by crushing ngayon ngay. Dinurog. Patay na yung ulo. 
When it talks about the head, the head of sin, Satan himself, defeated. Hallelujah. Doon pa lang, I hope you have that revelation. Talo na. Mapagtagumpahin ang buhay ko. Whatever you're going through, kapatid. Whatever you're going through, Jesus has overcome it. You only have to come in him, to Him. Lord, Jesus, help me. He's always there. An ever-present help in times of trouble. Okay? So, ano pang uh, prophecy in Exodus? Okay? We're talking about the Passover. We're talking about the Lamb of God. And again, it's pointing to Jesus. Okay? In Exodus 12, verses 1 to 14, let me read. While the Israelites were still in the land of Egypt, the Lord gave the following instructions to Moses and Aaron. From now on, this month will be the first month of the year for you. Talagang pinaparemember eh. Talagang napakaliwanag na instructions of our God to Moses and Aaron. Announce to the whole community of Israel that on the tenth day of this month, each family must choose a lamb or a young goat or, or a, for a sacrifice. Okay, a lamb, isang tupa or kambing for sacrifice. One animal for each household. Okay, one animal for each household. Verse 4, if a family is too small to eat a whole animal, let them share with another family in the neighborhood. Divide the animal according to the size of each family and how much they can eat. So dito pa lang pinapakita yung ano yung, pagsasama-sama ng iba't ibang maski magkaibang pamilya, yun eh. Merong sharing. Spirit of sharing. And I hope we have that with us as well. Okay? In verse 5, the animal you select must be a one-year-old male, either a sheep or a goat, with no defects. Walang kapansanan. A perfect animal. A perfect sacrifice. In verse 6, take special care of this chosen animal until the evening of the 14th day of this month. Then the whole assembly of the community of Israel must slaughter their lamb or young goat at twilight. Yun eh, sa paglubog ng araw at sunset. Okay? They are to take some of the blood and smear it on the sides and top of the door frames of the houses where they eat, uh, where they eat the animal. Yun eh. Take some of the blood. Okay, yung dugo. Hapakalaga. Dugo. Wipe it. Yun eh. Smear it on the sides and top of the door frames. Okay, yung sa Tagalog ba ito? Ito ba yung hamba? Or something? Yan. Right there on the door. The entrances. Alright, bakit ba napakalaga nun? That same night, they must to roast the meat over a fire and eat it along with a bitter, with bitter salads and bread made without yeast. Okay, ito po, inihaw. Roasted. Okay, nilitsyon. Ika nga. Yung sheep or yung goat. Alright? tapos sa kasama ng salad green salads talagang bitter pa nga eh so very healthy so right here dapat makakuha kayo ng idea that you just not eat meat but include vegetables okay and bread made without yeast in verse 9 do not eat any of the meat raw or boiled in water wag daw yung hilaw kumbaga kinilaw okay wag kinilaw or yung nilaga lamang not boiled in water the whole animal Okay, buo yung hayop, yung sacrifice, including the head, legs, and internal organs must be roasted over a fire. So, whole animal. Buo, roasted over a fire. Do not leave any of it until the next morning, but burn whatever is not eaten before morning. These are your instructions for eating this meal. Very specific si God. Okay, be fully dressed. Wow, yun nga, alam natin, this is a special occasion. And I hope that each one of us, Sunday is a very special occasion. Okay? Lalo na ating physical service, siguro online, pwedeng nakabihis yung taas mo, pero naka-shorts ka lang. <laughs> okay? Or maybe naka-underwear ka lang while being in Zoom. Alright? Pero here in our physical services, sabi nito, be fully dressed. Okay, mag tayo. Amen? Wear your sandals. Yun nga eh. Nakasap, dapat nakasapat tayo. Huwag lang chinelas. Ha? And carry your walking stick in your hand. Eat the meal with urgency. Okay. Ito napakahalaga nito. Eat the meal with urgency. Talagang huwag kang pa, ano eh, pa, pa easy easy lang while eating this meal. For this is the Lord's Passover. 
In verse 12, on that night, I will pass through the land of Egypt and strike down every firstborn son and firstborn male animal in the land of Egypt. I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt, for I am the Lord. Verse 13, but the blood on your doorposts will serve as a sign. Again, the blood. Okay, just recall right now what Jesus went through on the cross, even before the cross. As he was whipped, okay, all the blood dripping from the body of our Lord Jesus. So just come to think of that. The Passover and its relationship to Jesus as the Lamb of God. Okay. On that night, I will pass through the land, Egypt, strike down every firstborn son and firstborn male animal in the land of Egypt. I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt, for I am the Lord. But the blood on your doorposts will serve as a sign, marking the houses where you are staying. When I see the blood, okay, makita ng ating Panginoon or the angel of death passing through Egypt, I will pass over you. That's why we have this Passover. Okay? Lalagpasan. Passover. Lalagpasan yung bahay na merong blood on the doorpost. Okay? That's a sign for the devil, or I mean for the angel of death to pass over your, your house. This plague of death will not touch you when I strike the land of Egypt. Verse 14. This is a day to remember. Each year, from generation to generation, you must celebrate it as a special festival to the Lord. This is a law for all time. That's why ito talagang nangyayari ito sa Israel. They have the Passover. Okay? Pesach. That's the festival. It's celebrated seven days a week. Seven days. It's either, of course, in March or April. Okay? Parang ating Holy Week. When we celebrate yung Semana Santa, di ba? It's also over a week. Okay? Because we are celebrating, yun nga eh, Celebrating what Jesus has done. Okay? Sa kanila naman, the passing over of the angel of death. Kaya in the New Testament, in John 1.29, the next day, John saw, this is John the Baptist, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Okay, in that Old Testament, di ba? In Exodus, it was really, literally, a lamb. A perfect lamb. Okay, but now, here we see Jesus who takes away the sin of the world. We know that Jesus is the perfect man. Okay? Kasi nabi doon kanina, the second Adam, yung kinakanta natin kanina, the second Adam, but different from Adam. Because Adam committed sin, but Jesus was perfect. He was without sin. Sin. Okay? In John 19, verses 31 to 36, it says here, it was the day of preparation and the Jewish leaders didn't want the bodies hanging there. Ito na yung nakita nila because it is also the Passover week. Okay, which, okay, just, let me just continue rin pala. Uh, the Jewish leaders didn't want the bodies hanging there the next day, which was the Sabbath and a very special Sabbath because it was Passover week. Wow. Ito, ah, ito yung Passover, the day that Israel sacrificed the perfect lamb. And now here, Jesus being the sacrificial lamb. Okay, so they asked Pilate to hasten their deaths by ordering their legs to be broken. Okay, ito na yung ano eh. Ito na yung Jesus was there along with the crim two criminals. Okay, because it was Passover, very special yung kailangan wala nang nakasabit doon, wala nang mga pinarusahan. Okay, so because it is a special day, it was a special, very special Sabbath. Okay? Then their bodies could be taken down. In verse 32, so the soldiers came and broke the legs of the two men crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. So they didn't break his legs. One of the soldiers, however, pierced his side with a spear and immediately blood and water flowed out. This report is from an eyewitness giving an accurate account. He speaks the truth so that you also may continue to believe. In verse 36, these things happened in fulfillment of the scriptures that say not one of his bones will be broken. Okay? Not one of his bones will be broken. In Exodus 12, 
Verse 46, each Passover lamb must be eaten in one house. Do not carry any, any of its meat outside and do not break any of its bones. Fulfillment of a word of a prophecy from the Old Testament to the New Testament happening also on Jesus himself. The perfect sacrificial lamb, the lamb of God. Okay? In Psalms 34, 20, he protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Not one. Okay? So to the last detail of his death, Jesus fulfilled the prophecies concerning the Messiah, the Savior, verifying that Jesus was, as John the Baptist claimed, Jesus is the sacrificial lamb of God. Hallelujah. In Luke 24, verse 44, then he said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Okay, everything written in scriptures. That's why it's scriptures alone. The word alone, napakahalaga na maging batayan ng ating buhay. Guide for how will we live our lives here upon this earth to prepare us for heaven. Amen? Okay, it has been fulfilled. Okay, Jesus being the central message of the Bible from the Old Testament to the New Testament. It was all about Jesus. Hallelujah. In John 1 verse 14. And the word, who is that word? That is Christ, became flesh. What does that mean? He became human. He became incarnate. Okay, nagsakatawang tao ang ating Panginoong Diyos. And tabernacled. That is, he fixed his tent of flesh. Lived a while. Yun eh, nabuhay siya rito. For a while only. Amongst us. Kasama natin. Nakakahalubilo sa atin. And his spirit lives on. Okay? Diba sa Emmanuel? God with us. Just, just come to think of that. God is, each, is in each one of us. Is in each one of you, God is there. Living in us. Emmanuel. Wow. Okay? And we actually saw His glory, His honor, His majesty. Such glory as only begotten Son receives from His Father full of grace, favor, loving kindness, and truth. Praise God for that. The Word became flesh. Talagang yun nga eh. Tapos po makita natin yung congruence, yung pagkakatugma-tugma, pagkakasama-sama ng five solas. We have talked about the sola scriptura. Okay, that's why here, the Word became flesh. Okay, the Word itself. Okay, the Word. Ngayon, makita nyo, the, word, the written Word is the Bible. That's why does this book, the Bible, is very spiritual. Okay, it may be it may be physical or maybe in a gadget nyo and an e-copy of the Bible, but it is very spiritual, mga kapatid. As you read it, as you read it in prayer, as you read it while worshiping God, there's that spirit changing us, empowering us. Okay, don't just read the Bible as just an um, ordinary book. Always come before God. It is God. It's Jesus speaking to you. The Word. The Word became flesh. And that's Jesus. Ngayon, Jesus is already up in heaven. <coughs> but His Word remains with us. His presence with us. Emmanuel. The Bible, the Word, the written Word with us. Okay, kaya wag niyong baliwalay ng Bible, mga kapatid. Always be reading it as we pray each day as you do your devotions, as you have your silent moment with God. Be reading it. <coughs> In Luke 4, verses 16 to 21, And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as, he, and as was his custom, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day. And he stood up to read. In verse 17, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written. Okay, ito, nandun siya sa synagogue. Binigay sa kanya yung scroll. Okay, at doon, 
Binasa niya yung words from prophet Isaiah. It says here in verse 18, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Verse 18, and he rolled up the scroll, and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Lahat nakating, nakatingin sa kanya. Kasi binasa niya, tindi, ng words. And then, he says to them, Today, this scripture, nga, kung babasahin niya, it's in Isaiah 61 verse 1, has been fulfilled in your hearing. It has been fulfilled. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Jesus himself, the word, right there, standing amongst them. Right now, we're hearing the word of God, the word of Jesus. And he is here right now amongst us, speaking to each one of us. Speaking. I pray that each one of us will take this into heart, to our hearts. Alalahanin natin. Today, each one is proclaiming good news to you. Okay, he's proclaiming liberty. Okay, recovering. Kung may kaman, medyo hindi mo maintindihan ang nangyayari sa buhay mo. Okay, marang malabo, pero gan, he's bringing sight, recovering your sight. Okay, your spirit will be blind. Okay, to set those who are oppressed. Kung ikaw ay nanglulupay-pay, kung ikaw ay depressed, he's setting you free right now. Okay, he is proclaiming that. He is, the God's favor is upon us all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ka- what is the whole point of Solus Christus? I have two points. One, the sufficiency of Christ for salvation. There is no other way. It is only Christ, Jesus Christ, who is our salvation. According to Pilgrim Benham, let me read from what is written in the Gospel Forum. Sabi niya, Solus Christus emphasizes that the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is not only necessary for salvation, but sufficient to save to the uttermost. That means no amount of human works, okay, no amount of human works or merit can contribute to Christ's finished work, finished priestly work. Christ's all-sufficiency means that we are insufficient of, of, of ourselves. Tayo, hindi sapat. Wala tayong magagawa. Okay? Wala tayong magagawa para to save ourselves, para paglabanan lahat ng tukso, all the trials that we are going through. We cannot do it on our own. We need Jesus. Sabi mo sa sarili mo, I need you, Jesus. Yes, always declare that. Lord, I need you. Jesus, I need you. Okay, we can do nothing to save ourselves. That means we need a mediator. We need someone who is okay, always there praying for us as well. Okay, in Hebrews 7 verse 25, sinasabi dito, Consequently, he is able to save to the uttermost. Okay, kasokdusokdulan, wala nang iba, uttermost, those who draw near to God through him. Since he always lives to make intercession for them. Wow, God is there continuously interceding for us. Even as we pray, okay, yung prayers natin hindi makakarating to our Heavenly Father without Jesus right there in the middle being the mediator. Siya yung namamagitan. And continuously just interceding for us. And we know that our prayers reaches the heavens, reaches the throne of our God because of Jesus Okay, hindi natapos yung work ni Jesus when He left earth to go to with, the, with, the, with the Father. Nandun siya. Patuloy na pumapagit na para sa atin. Amen? Okay, so I'm about to close. Can I have somebody from the worship team?
Okay, excuse me. Okay, so first, the whole point of Solus Christus is that Christ is sufficient for our salvation. Only Christ. Christ alone. He is sufficient. Sapat na siya. Point number two, the supremacy of Christ. That is what Solus Christus is all about. His supremacy. What does this mean? There is no other God. No one else. Just Jesus. No other Savior. Just Jesus. Katulad ng inawin na siyang kanina, wala siyang katulad. Walang katulad. Angat sa lahat. God above all. Okay. These two points, basically, galing to kay Pastor Shaleen. Okay. I'm just, and I'm right here, I'm quoting her. That's the supremacy of Christ. Okay. And wala nang iba. It's only God. And now we come to the exciting part. Okay? We must come to a realization that we are sinners. Patuloy tayo. Kakasala. Okay? And we need a Savior. There is no other Savior but Jesus. Jesus only. Christ alone is our Savior. Christ alone saves Ano yung naalala mo yung the first time that you surrendered your life to God, to Jesus? Okay. Pa? Parang ang naging mas mahirap ang pamumuhay kristyano. Talaga. Living our Christian lives is impossible without the Holy Spirit there. Sinabi ni Jesus, I will not leave you as orphans. I will give you a helper. Ganun eh. And right there, the Jesus in the form of the Holy Spirit just guiding us. Okay. Yes, we are saved. But the trials, the temptations continue. Patuloy ang laban, mga kapatid. The fight goes on. And praise God, we are not on our own. Jesus is with us. Hallelujah. Jesus is with us. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Yes, we cannot save ourselves. Not by good works. Say mo, kaya ko to. Magaling ako. Not by thinking that you are helpless. Yun eh. Wala na akong pag-asa. Not by thinking that you don't need God. No. Okay. In Rem- Romans 7, 24-25, it says here, Wretched and miserable man that I am. Okay, sa Tagalog, kawawa naman ako. Okay, kawawa naman ako. Isipin mo yung kawawa ka, talaga. Wretched and miserable man that I am, who will, who will rescue me and set me free from this body of death, this corrupt mortal existence. Okay? Sino magliligtas sa akin sa makasalanan kong pagkatao na nagdudulot sa akin ng kamatayan? Yun nga, sin leads to death. Okay? Then the answer is, thanks be to God for my deliverance. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then, on the one hand, I am myself, with my mind, serving the law of God. But on the other hand, with my flesh, my human nature, my worldliness, my sinful capacity, I serve the law of sin. Yun. There's always a fight. May paglalaban. Okay. Alam natin, naisip natin ang salita ng ating Panginoon. But there are times also that parang ayaw sumunod, di ba? Because of our flesh, our sinful capacity, okay? Our human nature, naandun pa rin. Kaya there's this ano eh, pero that God is always there. Jesus is always there, fighting for us, interceding for us, giving us strength, giving us perseverance to persevere in prayer and continuing it comes to our mind that we surrender, that we give up. But no, no, just hold on. Jesus, Jesus is always there to help us in times of trouble. Hold on, hold on to Jesus. Jesus alone, Christ alone saves us, helps us, redeems us, gives us power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Acts 4.12, there is no one else who has the power to save us. No one else. For there is only one name to whom God has given authority, 
by which, by which we must experience salvation. The name of Jesus. Come on, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Isang pangalan lang. In Jesus' name. That's why when we pray, in Jesus' name. Sabihin mo lang yung kapatid mo, don't ever forget the name of Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, help me, oh God, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, help me from this depression. Help me, oh God, Lord, from this struggle. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The name, only one name, no one else. In 1 Timothy 2, verses 3 to 6, this is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone, everyone, all of us to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is one God and one mediator, only one who can reconcile God and humanity, the man, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. There's no one else. No one else. Only Jesus. He gave His life to purchase freedom for everyone. He gave His life. He gave His life for you, for me, for all of us. Just come to think of that. That's why we give in to sin. That's why we give in to temptation. Because we forget all about what Jesus has done. Go back. Go back to the time that you surrendered your life to Jesus. The day that you first hand, first time na experience mo siya. Na experience mo yung pagbabago na nangyayari sa buhay mo. Wow, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I can still recall that. The day na alam ko, makasalanan ako. The day that Jesus revealed himself to me. I was doubting. Ito nga ba to? May pag-asa pa ba ako? Sa baho ng buhay ko. God, praise God. Oh, praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He gave His life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave to the world at just the right time. Just the right time. God is a God of time. God of, God of timing. Maring yung kang ay, you are Nasa dulo ko na ng PC mo, kuminsan, di ba? Then, there, God. God, with you. Whatever you're going through, God, with you. you, you, you Maring, you, you're coming to a point of giving up. So always remember, Jesus is always there. Jesus is always there. Kaya nga, yun lang eh. We just, ano eh, confess with our mouth. Say it, Jesus, I need you. Lord, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Lord, whatever I'm going through, Lord, help me, oh God. Help me, Lord Jesus. Let's all be standing on our feet. Let's just be bowing down our heads. Close our eyes. Don't mind the person behind, you, beside you. Just between. This time is just between you and our Lord Jesus. This time, let's be thanking God. Let's be just thinking, be thanking Jesus. Lord, we thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, oh God, Lord. First of all, we are here because of you, Panginoon. We are here gathered, O oh God, Lord, as your sons and daughters, Panginoon. Your children, Panginoon, O oh God, Lord, that you have saved, O oh God, Lord. That you have redeemed, Panginoon, from our sinful nature, O oh God, Lord. Sa kapalpakan ng aming pamumuhay, ng aming lumang buhay, Panginoon, O oh God, Lord. You have come all the way from heaven into this earth. Came flesh, O oh God, Lord, to be living amongst us, Panginoon. Lord, maring ko, Lord, in, back there in heaven with our Father, but still, O oh God, Lord, you are here with us in the hearts of all of us, O oh God, Lord. Truly, you are God. Truly, you are Emmanuel, God, with us. Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Panginoon. Right now, I'd like to give you the chance. Pasalamatan mo ating Panginoon. Just thank Jesus for what He has done, 
for what He is doing and what He is still yet to do in your life. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that indeed, O God, Lord, that you are sufficient, O God, Lord. Sapat ka na, Panginoon. No one else, Panginoon. No one else, O God, Lord. There's no other way. There's no one else. No other God, O God. Not even ourselves, Panginoon. Lalong, lalong. Not even ourselves, O God, Lord. It's you, Panginoon, who is always there to save us, O God, Lord. To save us, O God, Lord, from the miserable life that we may still be living, O God. Save us, O God, Lord, from any, O God, Lord, negative thoughts, O God, Lord. Thoughts, O God, Lord, that gives us depression, O God, Lord. Lord, I pray, O God, Lord, whatever everyone is going through, O God, Lord. Alam mo to, Panginoon, you alone knows what each one is going through, O God. Yeah, Lord, we thank you, God, because we know, O God, Lord, if we call upon your name, the mighty and sweet and powerful name of our Lord Jesus, O God, Lord. Lord, you will be there answering our prayers, O God, Lord. Being with us, Panginoon. Hugging us, Panginoon. Showing us, letting us feel your love, O God. In the name of Jesus, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, O God, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for indeed, O God. You are supreme, O God, Lord. There's no one else, O God, Lord. No other Savior. Lord, wala kang katulad, Panginoon, O God, Lord. Wala nang iba. Only you, O God, Lord. That's why, O God, Lord, we thank you, God, Lord, this morning, O God, Lord, for revealing yourself once again to us, O God, Lord, for teaching us, O God, Lord, who you are, Panginoon, O God, Lord, who you are, Panginoon, in our lives, O God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, O God, Lord. So we thank you, God, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, O God, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, O God, Lord. Let's just worship God right now. In Christ alone do I glory, for only by His grace I am redeemed. For only His tender mercies could reach beyond my weakness to my need. And now I seek no grace of honor than just to know Him and to count my gains but losses to the glory of my Lord in Christ alone you alone Lord Jesus we trust you O God and find my glory your prayer right now. In every victory, let it be said of me, my source of strength, my source of hope is Christ alone. I place my trust and find my glory So God. Let it be said of me, my source of strength, my source of hope is Christ alone. Ikaw ang tunay na Diyos, ikaw walang katulad, ikaw ang isa. Ikaw lamang 
sisigaw namin, Panginoon, O God, Lord. You, O God, you are Lord Jesus. O God, Lord, tanging ikaw lamang, Panginoon, no one else, O God, Lord, but the name of Jesus. You alone saves us, O God, Lord. O God, not just from our sins, O God, Lord, but everything, O God, Lord, our struggles, O God, Lord, everything that we go through, O God, Lord. It is you, O God, who is beside us, who is, O God, Lord, helping us, who is guiding us, O God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, O God, Lord. We thank you, God, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for you, Jesus, O God. Oh, Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, O God. We th- even thank you, God, Lord, for your grace, O God, Lord. For your faith, na patuloy mong pinagkakalob sa amin, Panginoon. For your love, O God, Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you, O God. To you be all the praises, all the glory, all the adoration, all the love, Panginoon, O God. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everyone say... Amen. Amen. Palakpakan si Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Have, are you blessed? Amen. Yeah, yeah, talagang iba talaga si Lord pag kumilos. Okay, so this time as we continue with our worship, I believe it is time to give our tithes and offerings. So we have envelopes uh, dito sa uh, along the aisles and if you want to give Uh, if you have a signal, you can give uh, uh, electronically, okay? So, that's it, people. We thank you and have a blessed day ahead of you. Ikaw lamang wala ng iba Sa'yo ang aming awi Dinggin ang aming tinig Isisigaw sa buong mundo Ikaw ang tunay na Diyos Ikaw walang so much everyone for coming to our morning service this Sunday in Destiny Church and so before we leave no I would just like to invite everyone mga first time for us to visit our welcome center dito lang po siya sa left side paglabas ninyo and not only for the first timers if any one of us have been with have been joining us for uh, medyo matagal na and wala pa tayong life group we also invite you to join our welcome center for us to join the community in small groups so that's it for this sunday again we thank you And see you, Paulette, next Sunday in our Sunday service. God bless everyone and have a blessed week ahead. Never give it up on me